I'm an outdoorsman in my previous video going over the XPS Stalker backpack. I said I would go over it uh, more when I got up to school and I got all my stuff in it and kind of just settled in. So I've been up here two weeks now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over it. I'm gonna go over the rods I have up here first and uh, then I'll go over the backpack itself. So the first rod I have is the Argon Spinnerbait Series. It is a medium heavy six foot 11 rod. I have 15 pound um, cigar Invisex, and then I have a Picasso, I think this is Chartreuse Tiger or something like that, um, shock blade on there with the black blade. Great setup for chatterbaits and spinnerbaits. Next thing I have is the Kistler Argon, um, what is this one? The Medium Extra Fast. This is 6.9 and it's the Finesse Series. 15 pound Power Pro Slick in yellow. And I use that so I can see the line moving. Um, then I have a Bass Munitions Holston Worm. And this is a great drop shot worm or as you see I have it Texas rigged on a three out hook. And that's in Chartreuse Pepper. Then I have a Lose Speed Spin I think this is. And then the last rod I have up here is the Kistler Carbon Steel Frog and Twin Bait Rod. Um, it is a heavy, fast action 7.3, 50 pound Power Pro Slick, and a Lose BB2 7 1 to 1 gear ratio reel. And all of them have the Trigger Happy Comfort Grip grip on them. Um, definitely makes holding a reel for a rod for a long time more enjoyable. Alright, now time to get into the bag. We're going to start with the top and make our way down. The top is where I hold my soft plastics. And I just keep them all in these gallon size Ziplocs and just ride on them. Not my favorite way to store them because sometimes they'll end up getting uh, all tangled. The plastics on the inside will get all tangled up. But um, the way I get around that is just let all the air out of the bag of bait and then let all the air out of the Ziploc and it tends to uh, keep them from moving around. So this is my finesse and tubes. Just have some trick worms in there, some holston worms, uh, one pack of tubes, and that's about it. The next bag is my creatures and crawls. And one of my new favorite baits to throw is the Dean Rojas Fighting Frog. I really, really like that thing. And that one was in uh, Tilapia Magic. Next thing I have is just one pack of rivets. Um, these are the five, or the, uh, the regular size rivets, and they're in black. Then I just have some curly tails. This is just like three packs of curly tails. And then I have my Senko bag. Got some Bass Munition Senkos, some Gary Yamamoto Senkos, and then some Kitex in there. And then just one more pack of rivets. And these are in Greenback Tree Frog, I guess. That's it for the soft plastics. This next top compartment up here, I don't have anything in. It's just empty. And then this, I use to hold all my baits that I let dry. So in there right now, I just have a spro popping frog. A Yozuri Spook. Z-Man Chatterbait. And then a small finesse jig. I just leave that a little bit open so air can get in there and then that just lets it dry out. And then this small compartment right here, I keep my scale. The left side over here 
in this compartment I keep a Pelican um, 1010 and this holds all of my batteries for my GoPro and I don't think I have anything in this compartment no nope, this whole compartment is empty right here which I, I just throw some GoPro accessories in so different uh, mounts and stuff like that water bottle holder Over here I just have a pair of pliers. And then inside of here, I keep all my tools. So I got a pair of scissors. Got a pair of, I don't even know what these are called. Hemostats, I think. Don't hold me to it. A pair of lip grips. A big Sharpie to color braided line. Uh, some split ring pliers and braid cutters then some braid scissors and then if you look down in here uh, this is the line holder the line comes out right there which it's falling back in there but it I have some 12 pound Seaguar and Vizex in there that I use for leader material all right, now we have one more compartment, and that's in the front. And it's just got my Planos in it. It holds four 3600 Planos. Um, the top one is just a container full of ring fries, which you've seen in my other videos if you've watched any of my tackle videos before. The next video or the next uh, plano is my hooks, my jigs, or actually all my skirted baits, and then all my hard baits. We'll get into those real quick. So I'm gonna try to hold this as still as possible. Um, right here, I just have some man's uh, baby one minuses, uh, three of them. Uh, down here I just have three poppers, a couple different spooks, and then I have a uh, prop bait also in there, or two prop baits in there, a small one and a bigger one, Super Spook Juniors, um, have just a couple different jerk baits, in uh, all the colors, or a bunch of colors, um, then I just have a couple of lipless crankbaits then I have my square reels and this is a coffin bell right here then over here I just have some frogs and I have a couple more ones tied on and then ones that drying and that's it for the hard bait next box is my skirted baits And I just have all the jigs kind of done in color, color wise. So up top you have all your greens. These are all flipping jigs um, in 3 8 Bass Munitions Lightning Bug. Uh, another Bass Munitions. I think a uh, Bayou Bug jig. This one is. And down here I have uh, some more flipping jigs and just blue, or just darker colors. Then here I have some swim jigs. There's a Bayou Bug swim jig. A Picasso swim jig. As you can see I put a rattle on it. I don't know if you can tell, yep. Mags Lure Company swim jig. And then another uh, Bayou Bug swim jig. Then down here I just have my finesse stuff couple different finesse ones smaller one and another one over here I have my buzz baits Just, uh, either white or chartreuse and then over here I have my chatter baits so I got Z-Man uh, New Tech Picasso's tied on 
I got another Picasso order coming in real soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm getting a lot of stuff I haven't gotten before, um, so it'll be new. And then here's the Bass Mafia box, which is my terminal tackle. On top, I just have a uh, 3-aught and 4-aught EWGs, um, drop shot and wacky rig hooks, some 3-aught flipping hooks, some beads, swivels, and uh, Carolina clackers, some let's see, 3 16 ounce. One fourth ounce and three eighths ounce bullet weights. These are lead. Um, I'm mostly pond fishing here, so uh, definitely don't want to use my uh, tungstens. Got some uh, shaky heads. These are spot remover one fourth ounce and green pumpkin. Got some drop shot weights. Then got some uh, nail weights, which I got to get more because I only have one and uh, one frog hook. Then I have some underspins, just three different underspins. And then over here I just have a, I don't even know what these things are called, humdingers. You just put them, you hook them to the back of soft plastic like a Senko or something and they spin around just to track more fish. That's all, sorry for the last part being shaky. Um, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see. Um, and I'll be sure to make them and thanks for watching